Hey, you. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. All right. Everyone appears to be able to, uh, everyone appears to, be able to hear you as well. Great. Perfect. So is my video okay? Am I laggy? Um. Oh uh, no, you don't appear to be too laggy. Okay. All right. Uh, you Feels are, like really, really like bright. bright. Yeah. <laughs> I could probably. I don't, I don't know. Are, are you using do. proper lights? Well, no, not exactly. I'm not using the same lights as I normally was. Uh, I don't have my fluorescent lights right now. But you oh, know what? You were using your fluorescents before. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. And I was bouncing the light effectively, but we just rearranged um, my room, or our room, really. <laughs> and um, we don't have the lampshade on the lamp. But um, shall I? Shall I just go sneak it on there? Um, It'll see. just take me a second. Sure, if you want to do that. I think that would probably be most effective. I'll be right back. We really ought to do camera checks and whatnot beforehand, but fuck it. Uh, I'm usually scrambling at the last minute to get ready anyway. Yeah, I had the entire day. And what am I doing? Half hour before the show? Figuring out the order of songs. Does that look yes, that's better. Um, I, I can't put your headset on. How's, how's that? Better. Although you're like laggy still. Yeah. A little. Um, maybe I should restart. Nah, we'll we'll live with it. Okay. Your audio is okay, so. Okay. And we can. I I can still hear you okay, so it's not a big deal. Okay. Okay. We don't want this to be like last time. Wasn't it last time we were like struggling? No, I think it was the time before last. Or maybe even two before that. We had we had a few smooth really smooth days in a row. We did, didn't we? Yeah. There's like a few near the end there and then we just kinda lost it at one point. We really yeah. should be doing camera check. I think it was like the first one or two times of using Hangouts. Yeah. It worked okay and then it just kinda didn't after that. Yeah. Yeah, my laptop is definitely, it's dying pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, I need to get you some, we need to get you some better equipment or something. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty worried about my laptop. I don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do about that. It's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for it to die, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, I just actually uh, wiped my computer last week. Late last week? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I, I haven't reinstalled. I got sick and tired of Windows 10. Oh, yeah? Well, it's the automatic update thing where, like, it Windows controls and, like, you have to update everything. Except right. when they release a botched update, which is exactly what they did, and they botched my video card or something. I can't remember oh, exactly yeah. what it was, but it was something, and it was, like, critical. Like, <laughs> great, I, I can't use it. Hmm. Oh yeah, and then my hard drive, my external hard drive, which I use to, I store a lot of materials for shows on, mm -hmm. um, kept on like whatever update to the driver it did, mm -hmm. it kept disconnecting and reconnecting itself over and over again. Hmm. That's that's weird. Yeah, so it's like oh well, hey, thank you for giving me that update, and I kind of got tired of um, uh, of computering with com ad ad supported computering. Yeah. Well, I, Windows 10 has, if you use any of the apps with it, it, oh, yeah, it, it's do people, awful. do people use app, the apps that come with the operating system? I, I do, some of them. Oh, okay. That's but, weird. And they're all, hey, I like Solitaire. Oh, I oh, love the games. Oh, yeah. That, and there's like Netflix and a couple other ones. And I think my line that I drew was when Netflix started having ads on it. Yeah. That's, that's a <laughs> little... like, okay, no, yeah. that, that's not okay. This that's isn't not a Netflix okay. thing. This is a Microsoft thing. Fuck. I'm done. Fuck this. Yeah, that's not I'm okay. Out. I wonder okay. if that'll... It'll be funny if that happens on the Microsoft console. You know, if that happens to their Netflix. You know it well. Mm hmm And up next will be pre-roll and mid-roll. And... Yeah. I mean, you know, no one, it, it's true that nobody wants to pay for anything, but... But... I, I sure know, think I sure don't think putting ads everywhere is like I just don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> no, it, it won't. It's it's one thing with videos. 
that I get. I, I'm, I'm behind that. Sure. <laughs> I say this knowing yeah. that all of our Glorious Inside episodes are monetized. Yeah, yeah. Not that it's I mean, a damn dime, but whatever. You know, it's kind of like democracy. You know, uh, ads are the worst possible system that we've come up with so far, except for all of the other systems that we've tried. We are moving again away from that, though. I mean, like literally stopping a show for like seven minutes, or like, well, okay, like two minutes, and then resuming the show and having to write the script for the show around the, those breaks. Yep. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> I can't you know believe people do that. Well, what's great is when you get having done the job of actually having to break stuff for commercials. Yeah. Um, is it's I like it when I received when I received things that had ad, that were structured around those ad breaks. Yeah. It makes my life easier. Yeah. Um, but then you always get the people who don't do that. And they refuse to conform to that system. They're like, no, we're going to make a seamless thing. No breaks at all. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's great. Uh, most recently, when I've had to reassemble all the, the stuff to make it into one giant long file, mm -hmm. um, I, I liked it when there was stuff that was just like seamless. It was complete opposite experience. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those people who like, you know, it's, it's all one. And then having to find spots to add break, it actually is kind of fun. When you receive something and there's no ad breaks and it's up to you to kind of put those spots in, it's like, okay, where is the logical spot? Yeah. But really yeah. it comes down to a math equation. I boiled yeah. it down to a math equation. Oh, okay. I need to have six breaks in this thing to have seven segments. The thing right. is uh, 97 minutes long. Do the math. Around right. here, about three to every, uh, there's a three to five minute window in between whatever number I find. Mm-hmm. So like nine minutes? Okay. So I have three to five minutes either way that I can go look for ad for a break. Yeah. Some people just don't do that though. Yeah. And their movie is just or movie or show is just one continuous thing and there's like there's no spot to do it. Yeah. Banana yeah. was pretty bad. I don't know if you've heard of the show's Cucumber and Banana. Mm mm. I have not. Um, look into them. They're really, really good shows. Yeah. Well like but, what are they? Um it's from the creator of Queer as Folk. Oh, okay. I don't know if you've ever got into that. No. Um, it's just... It's... I was straight when that show came out. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were straight. <laughs> no. No? I was. I was actually straight. Fair. I'm sure not anymore. I mean, you know, I thought, I thought when I stopped taking my hormones, I was going to revert. I thought I was going to stop getting butterflies. No. Nope. <laughs> no problems there tell you what oh, it's, it's yeah it's like uh, i was i was pretty because like i had gone off i think i forgot to take my hormones for a few days once and then and like you know it didn't happen a few times and i was like oh okay well i guess i need to be on my hormones that kind of makes sense because it wasn't until the hormones that i ever experienced butterflies um and yeah that was yeah, I was I was totally wrong about that, <laughs> completely and utterly wrong. So that's interesting. And yeah, I'm still gay. So there's also that. Um, yeah. How how is uh, <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs> you know, it's weird because like butterflies is always something even pre-transition that I uh, that I experienced. Really interesting. Yeah. See, well, you know what well, I was, well, you know what I said to to Marion the other day. You know, maybe I was just never turned on during sex before. <laughs> Which is possible. I didn't really enjoy it very much. I can never focus enough. I mean, I'm always in between, like, okay, I'm, like, maybe it's just because I've never had... Maybe it's just because never had rough sex, and maybe that that's what it'll take. Oh, or, yes. <laughs> it really helps. <laughs> maybe it's that, and it was just yeah. every time it was too boring, or maybe I really do get nothing from it, and I really do, I mean, I do kind of think... I really yeah. get nothing from it, and there's just it's pointless to me. I'm mm -hmm. more about emotions as opposed to like yeah. anything physical. To me, it's it's just sex. <laughs> no matter how passionate romantic you make it, it's a physical act. Yeah, yeah. And there are it's much been... more meaningful and deeper ways to connect. Yeah, well, I mean, I definitely find it to be a very, very meaningful, you know, way to connect with somebody for sure it's true though like it is you know i've definitely had meaningless sex with people too so 
Um, I don't know. You know, to be honest, I don't really think I do. I think I, I think I put meaning into it pretty much no matter who it is. Um, you know, even if I don't like them that much, it's just, it's, I mean, it's just the way that I, you know, express my feelings because I don't really know any other way. You know, even, even, even with like people I just meet, I'm like, you're cool. I would like to show you that we should make out. <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, no, 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 that's not how it's not. We should, you know, we like hang out and talk and stuff. Like, oh, right, right. Yes, we could do that and make out. No, no, no. This is the second thing. We're not. We can't. <laughs> I, you know, partner. And I was, oh, oh, okay. I understand. <laughs> well, that's what Polly is for. No, it really. Is. Yeah. yeah it's not. So it usually just involves me, you know, staring for about five minutes. <laughs> like, and this is right. how I'm gonna be close to you by staring creepily yeah. at you. Am Are I you... doing this right? <laughs> <laughs> this is how I connect, right? Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's, like, I don't know, like, for you, sex is the most meaningful thing to sort of show, to express that to people. For me, yeah. it's just, like, opening up and showing a part of my soul to people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think it's, I think that's exactly the point, though, is that, and, I mean, by no means am I asexual, so it's certainly something I do not understand. Um but um just think of i mean i think that's exactly i think that proves i think that that's exactly the point you know is that it's it's really quite simple and it's just that there's you know more be different people have different ways of showing the the way that they feel and you know i mean i prefer i like having the full gamut you know i don't just want to have the sex to show people how great i think they are but but i mean you know like 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 having sex with mary is very it's very unique <clears throat> I've never really had sex with anybody like like that before and it's um like it's made me very emotional before like I've cried during sex because of not just like like how great it was overall you know <laughs> you know all all of the all of the different parts are are satisfied and that's that was that's fantastic I'm and trying I remember, so hard not to laugh right now I'm sorry <laughs> well and I remember afterwards being like man that was that was weird but great Weird. Fair yeah. enough. And yeah, you know, it's here you are opening up about the whole this whole emotional thing and I'm trying not to laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, speaking of speaking of funny things, the f funniest thing happened. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got I got a I got a phone call from my mom yesterday. <laughs> oh nice. because, because Apparently, I, at some point in the past, not exactly sure when, had invited my cousin David, not my cousin Anastasia, my cousin David, to a sex orgy. Sorry, a drug-fueled sex orgy. There's a difference. <laughs> yeah. It's very one important. Them, one of them involves poor decisions, the other one involves really, really bad decisions. Or really good decision. Uh, yeah, I think drug. I think drug field sex surgeries are great. And if my cousin wants to come to one, that's totally fine with me. But um, I at no point actually invited him to such a thing. <laughs> and it's 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 funny. <laughs> I just can't believe that it happened. Like I I had to I had to send him an email today. Did you ever get um, a response? From him, yeah. He was like, what the fuck? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so he's going to clear that up with the rest of your family who now believes that, right? Well, yeah. So he's, he said he's going to give her a call and, and see what the deal is. But um, gee, Jesus Christ, it's funny. She even described in some detail. <laughs> she, and, uh, I can't like, well, I'm like, hey, like those are some pretty good ideas. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Maybe I should. Maybe I should give him a call. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is, you know, like I'm sure, I'm sure to him, it has never even entered into his mind until now. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt like sending him an email that just said DTF. <laughs> I'm not to... sure that would go over well. <laughs> Well, you know, I, like I said in my in original email to him, I said, you know, like, if if I did say suggest such a thing, I was joking. And, you know, I do have a a 
obscure and strange sense of humor. So, you know, like that's not, that's not unreasonable. And then afterwards he replied back saying, yeah, you know, he, I also have a strange and obscure sense of humor. I mean, he is my cousin. We, we, we do get along. He's pretty similar, pretty awesome. But, um, I mean, <laughs> uh, now I kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, I remember my cousin, but uh, I forget what else I was talking about. <clears throat> um, yeah, he's cute too. Jeez, right? So it would just—it's just—it's—it's—it's it's, it's funny. <laughs> oh man! Fair enough. Um, I'm trying to remember what we were talking about just before that, though. <laughs> I I can't remember. <laughs> Every time I think about this, it just makes me laugh. It's so funny. Right. So oh, we were talking God. about um, yeah, like the meaning of sex and like, like right. sex and whatnot means and emotions and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's like not entirely irrelevant to my to my tangent. Well, no, you're you. It was it was connected to your tangent, but now I'm bringing us back to yeah. Instead of like cousin incest stuff and whatnot, <laughs> in incest, in, in, in well, incestual... there must be something wrong with me. Because <laughs> I'm like, what's right? Right, right. Bring, bringing us back from incestual drug fueled <laughs> orgy had drug, was it drug fueled orgies? Yeah, drug fueled. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, incestual drug fueled orgies, which is probably going to be the title of this episode. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! It's so that? funny. <laughs> I have to. I can't. I can't say all the jokes that pop into my head too, because people are going to start thinking I'm serious. So yeah. That's that. That's a shame too. That 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 would be taken so seriously. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Because I'm curious as to how this will go. One of the tags on the YouTube video is going to be incest, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh God, no! Because most people who who have such interests are probably pretty weird. You know, I've never had any family members around me, so you know, I didn't. It's mainly an experiment. It's a little different thing. Okay. We'll and also, happens. it is still I'm still testing limits of this ad friendly crap. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I feel like I, <laughs> incest would probably trigger the thing. <laughs> I want to see if it will. Or if this is still small enough, which it is, to go under the radar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how many viewers do we have these days? Uh, we get about 14 to 17 on the YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Uh, unique, okay. uh, unique views, so that's not too okay. bad. Yeah, cool. Um, cool. On here, last time, it was Excuse me. not... I think it was like two and a half people. Okay. <laughs> we had like a severed corpse watching, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, I thought we were doing pretty well for a little uh, while. There. We were, like 20 to 40 people, which wasn't bad yeah. given no advertising. And then last week it just dropped. But I did change the day on a last, uh, sort of on a whim. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, I mean, it's today. It's so there was nothing. So I'll be curious to see what it's what it goes to today. Yeah. Although I did very little. I, did, I didn't I did do any of the normal ch uh, advertising channels. So yeah. I'm curious to see what the stats are. Probably not great. Yeah. Um, I gotta figure well, that's good. I wasn't supposed to talk about the incest thing. <laughs> now it'll go up on YouTube for everyone to see. <laughs> oh, God, it's so funny. And, of course, this will be the one that gets, like, the most views. Yeah, yeah. That's and, like, okay. This, your, your family will decide to tune in to this <laughs> yeah. one and be like, check out one of them, and sure enough. <laughs> yeah. What's the worst that could happen? The title should give it away. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, too. Like, we don't... We, we're trying to figure out who, how she got the idea that this happened. It's... It, <laughs> it might be it might be her sister, um, uh, my Auntie Penny, uh, who has refused to accept my transition and still uses male pronouns and whatnot. Um, and, which, I mean, you know, I haven't, I haven't had any direct contact with her because I just send fuck you in giant capital letters, so I think she knows that. But she has borderline personality disorder, and um, the last time that uh, she sent an angry email to my mom about my transition, um, <clears throat> that was after I had posted in a thread that uh, one of my other cousins had posted in, um, 
uh, like one of my younger female cousins was had posted like you know some she's like 17 or something so she posted like some you know top 10 cutest celebrities <laughs> and um and my one of my male cousins had commented on it something annoying and he's he's annoying so and this is this is penny's son who had done this um and i mean i assume that he just didn't really care about me which see which is acceptable um anyways point being it seems as though uh my auntie penny may have uh may have uh lied about it uh, to my auntie patricia specifically to make her upset wow. this is my mom's theory this is what she thinks so that's I, I don't of... understand how the borderline thing was relevant but well i mean you know she's you know, like she's 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 undiagnosed um, and uh, and untreated, so she's quite destructive and has extremely poor judgment um, and isn't aware of the fact that she has poor judgment. Um, like she's in deep, you know. Like it's not it's not like someone who's you know aware of the fact that they have BPD that it affects their behavior and their personality and is on medication and is taking therapy and otherwise just doesn't want to hurt other people. I mean, she sent two emails to my mom talking about, um, you know, hitting all the major conservative talking points about surgery. You know, oh, it's not a real vagina. It barely works. There's a really high suicide rate and blah, blah, blah. But, I guess so. just someone who just has a thing against trans people. That, that's just that's just good old fashioned transphobia. <clears throat> yeah, and you know most people who are who are transphobic will just keep it to themselves. Well, not good old fashioned. No. Yeah. Re really? Have, have you? I, I'm not from Un what I've. Unless you have a that. neurological disorder, in which case you tend to be unable to control your impulses, and yes, you know but, but the fact that other people exist can sometimes make you do crazy things. So that's like a lot of Americans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think we're pretty vastly <laughs> underestimating the number of Americans, in particular, perhaps, um, who have uh, neurological disorders. You know? <clears throat> Unless we have concrete evidence of this, let's just stick to a lot of them are just sort of focused on like their old-fashioned Christian beliefs. Yeah, let, let, let's, that's what let's, I said. Let's point it to religion and not neurological. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Religion. <laughs> Neurological disorders. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That, <laughs> that I can get behind. Yeah, unable to differentiate behind. between reality and, and non-reality? Hey! hey. <laughs> You've got a neurological disorder! <laughs> I've said it before. I'll say it again. I just... There's a large part of me that wants to grab the Aesop's Fable book and make a religion on that. Yeah, yeah. And we'll worship Aesop. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, you know. People the story who, of the three who think the story they're, they're, they're the, uh, the, the judge and jury, and they're the people, they're the one who knows. And that's exactly the thing with Auntie Penny, you know? She thinks that she's the arbiter of, of truth and reality. And, um, you know, so, like, she has to do this in order to save me from my ignorance. She should read the Gospel of the Three Little Pigs. Yeah. There's a lot of books she should read. I'm not sure if she can. God. Ah, man. Like, some of the stories, too, that come out of that family. Like, when, when, after my mom got divorced, they, the, uh, my Auntie Penny and, uh, and her, her husband, Don, um, who's an American, um, and that kind of American, um, the worst kind. <clears throat> and um, American. Uh, uh, they said to they said to mom, you know, hey, like, like you gotta wear, you gotta you gotta change what you're wearing, you know, like you're wearing, you know, you know, baggy clothes and stuff, and you're, or, you know, you like you gotta wear tight clothes, you know, you gotta attract a man, you know, you need a man, and and in order to do that, you need to wear tight clothes. <laughs> uh. Also. My uncle Don is the only person I've ever seen my grandmother attack. <laughs> My, my at the time she was seventy six, and he was going on about how evil gay people were. I remember, like, 
I don't. I was just ignoring him. I remember hearing him saying something about it and just being like, "Fuck!" Like, and I was in the other room and was happy to be. Um, and yeah, like I just I come in the room. I think I ha was getting delivering tea or something, and uh, and I see my grandma uh, get up, walk over, like you know, walk hurriedly over to where he's sitting, and just like like you know, like like the old just slapping him, the old lady slapping attack you know not like slapping him in the face you know like 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 hitting him with an open hand basically and uh and like a few times like five or six times i was like stop it you can't say that stuff it's not you know it's not true and there wasn't even anybody gay in the family at that time i think it was there might be two of us now i think one of my cousins is a lesbian that's awesome yeah well, actually, I know one of my cousins is a lesbian. Well, bisexual. One of my other ones might be full-on lesbian. It, it would be a very gay Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy that people like that are in, are in my family, you know? It's oh, weird. Your family's kind of from Florida, right? No, none of my family is from Florida. Oh, okay. um, my family is English. So it's actually worse than that. <laughs> yeah, we're not um, we're not Southern Hicks. We're just you know um, proper. You know, can't be can't be common. You don't want to be common. My mom said that to me. You know, don't do that. It's common. <laughs> it's been a long time since she said that to me. Fortunately, but it's something that's, she said before. At least that's something that she's stopped saying. Yeah. And yeah, you know the whole the whole thing is that the whole thing about the cousin is is you know oh I can't be you know I can't be weird I can't be a pervert <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> can so be weird and be a pervert. And it's I know awesome. my mom even said I hope you're not a pervert and I said mom <laughs> I am real sorry but I've got terrible news. <laughs> I am most down certainly. Yeah, I'm most certainly a pervert, and it is great, but, yeah. Yeah, it's, ah, jeez. <clears throat> it's so funny. We are getting ever so closer to the, well, end of the world, if you want to call it that, depending on how it goes. Yeah. U.S. selection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It would be nice if it ended sooner rather than later. I kind of get the feeling I'm going to die when I'm in surgery. I don't think you will. Yeah, it seems pretty unlikely, statistically speaking. But why do you get that feeling? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just that sense of impending doom? Well, I guess so. I mean, you know, there's the obvious stuff. Never had surgery and terrified and blah, blah, right, blah. Right, but... right, you haven't. Yeah, but um, I mean, other than that, it's, you know, it's, I don't know. It's. It just seems impossible. It seems like I'm never gonna have a vagina. <laughs> it's. It just seems ridiculous. For a long time, well, when I started transition, that was kind of always my goal. It was like, okay, just get to surgery, get to surgery, and then last year when I was really, really close, before, like when I started getting the paperwork in the mail, and it's like from Montreal and all this stuff. It was. I don't know. It. It felt surreal, and then it's like. What happens then? Like, I, I, and then what? Yeah, I, I think that's. I think surreal is probably the emotion that I'm feeling. It is definitely that. I mean, I know that I'm excited and looking forward to it. You know, I've cried out of happiness, like the other day, like man, hysterically, <laughs> for like for a solid fifteen minutes, just about yes, have, I'm gonna have a vagina. Have you had any panic attacks yet? Not in regards to having a vagina. Or surgery? No, not yet, yeah, no. I've had panic attacks, but not about surgery. Okay. I'm not, yeah, I'm, yeah, I know. I, I've definitely been really anxious for the last, like, since, like, Monday. To, no, since, like, Sunday, I don't know. I was sick, too. That was bad. Any particular reason you were anxious? Well, you know, the whole thing with What's-Her-Face not being dead <laughs> and uh, and being nearby. Um, but um, um, 
I mean, if the fact that I, you know what, the fact that I have to fly, like I really, fuck, I don't like flying. It's a long flight, and it's worse when uh, you come back. Yeah, Are you you're also not. You're also not helping. <laughs> I'm yeah, aware. it's gonna be. Did, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> did you think I was going to help? Lie to me. <laughs> I think you should lie to me about it. <laughs> then you don't know me very well. You thought I was gonna be helpful on that one. <laughs> I already know that it's gonna be shitty, but you're gonna uh, get through. It. On the way there, helpful. you gotta get through. It. Well, you can drink. Like, actually, no, no, you can't. I don't think you're supposed to drink. So, Not for a week beforehand, no. but I mean, like you can't. I mean, so, I mean realistically speaking, the the. Uh, I don't but, know. Maybe I'll take a catamaran. I don't think I'm gonna be. My mom is gonna be there. Hopefully, so she's you, annoying. You'll be okay because you have someone there on the way back. Um, yeah. You're gonna have painkillers because they're gonna give yeah. you painkillers. Yeah, really. <laughs> I took um, on the long flight. There's a short one. I went from Montreal to Toronto, and then yeah. from I. From there, it was Toronto to Vancouver, which is the really long one. Yeah. So I took, was it? I took two oxys, and I like kind of day, went in and out, and then I uh, woke up about two and a half hours into the flight. Mm -hmm. Um, went to the bathroom, got an idea from the door not locking properly, and just I went down and wrote the intro to my book, uh, uh -huh. based on the door not locking properly in the bathroom while I was still high on oxys. Cool. <laughs> and then cool. I passed out again. Yeah, yeah. Watching some DC show. Well, hopefully, hopefully that happens. That would be good. Yep. And then, of course, I for like a week, I lost the intro on my iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, I suck. can't find it. I don't know where I saved it. I've yeah. since found it, and it wasn't as good as I remember. <laughs> Losing I remember something on an, on an Apple device, too, is just... Yeah, that's re that's real bad. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know where it went, and it won't let me in to look at the. And there's file only directly. one place that it can realistically be in. It's like, and it's not saved to cloud stuff because I had no internet on the plane because we don't have it yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh man, <sighs> I'm not as scared about it as I thought I was going to be. And you'll get through it. Are you going to upgrade your seat on the way back at all? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Because I assume you're taking WestJet, right? Yeah. It's up to my mom, really. So It's $120. Pro probably. It's $120. Yeah. On More? The on the, yeah. So on the sh on the short flight, it's probably not worth it. Yeah, um, prob my mom's probably not going to want to foot the bill for that. So. But on the long flight, just to have the extra leg room and not be crammed in a seat. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I looked at my Will flights, that be I'm like... Will medically relevant? What's that? Will that be medically relevant, do you think? I, it's not medically necessary, but it's probably going to make your flight more pleasant. Yeah. Because okay. it will kind of hurt to sit. I'll probably insist, then. I would. Just because yeah. it will make it, it will make a difference. Yeah. No, okay, well, that's that's good to know. But you can toughen it, because you're going from Montreal to Toronto, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think yeah. so. If you're doing that, because I mean, if the flight is split pretty evenly, then it's not really that worth Montreal it. to Toronto. Or is it Winnipeg? I think it is. Uh, where is it? There it is. Um, Calgary on the way there. Yeah, Toronto on the way back. Okay. So it's just a short flight to Toronto? Yeah, it's like an hour and a half or something, or an hour, something like that. It's okay. less than two hours. You can tough it out through that. Yeah, an hour, uh, less than two hours on a plane isn't too bad. It's the, it's the threes and the fours and the tens. Those are the bad ones. Uh, yeah, and so going from Toronto to Vancouver is going to be kind of brutal. You will want the extra leg room. Um, I took a look at the flight and went, oh, look, uh, you know, it, it's 120 for more leg room. Yes, please. I didn't read the rest of it. Yeah. And then they come around and they're like, uh, what would you like to eat? Oh, yeah. And they're like, they have these meal selections. Like, I, is, do I have to pay for it? He's like, no, no, it came with your seat. <laughs> like, oh, okay. That's <laughs> That's I don't remember funny. what else I said. I think I was really talkative because I was like stoned. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. <laughs> what? Oh, God. What, being you, stoned? You being really talkative. <laughs> 
I wonder what I'm going to be like. Oh, man. I, I, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Just hitting on the flight attendants. Well, at least that won't be different. <laughs> you know, I've, I've never hit on, on the people who assist me with things, except for the one time that I was uh, in the hospital when I had my shoulder dislocated. And they, they put me under with ketamine to to put me under so they could relocate my shoulder. Mm-hmm. And when I was coming back out, uh, I had this gorgeous was she yeah. Was she Indian with an English accent? No, I think she was Asian with an English accent. And it was just just the best. She was gorgeous. She had the whole Lucy Lou thing going on. I hit on her. <laughs> afterwards, I was like, ah, oh, shit, I meant to not actually say that, and I apologize to her. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> were you just was... coming up out of, or were you just coming out of, um, were you the anesthetic, out of the yeah. anesthetic? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, for sure. Well, and I also, I also asked her, I was like, so, you know, like, what, how did you, how did you get into this? You know, is this is this something like you wanted to do? You know, you wanted to be a nurse. And she was like, "Yeah." I was like, okay. <laughs> For some reason, I was very concerned that this is like you know you're gonna be a a nurse just like your mother was or something like that. I I don't even know where the thought came from. Ridiculous. And afterwards, again, I was like, "Fuck! What the fuck was I thinking?" Jeez. Anesthetic. So it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. I tell you what. Uh, I came out of, well, because they didn't put me totally under, so I still remember bits and pieces of it. <laughs> and um, I've confirmed that I don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, unless you ask for it, uh, they'll just yeah. put you a little, they'll put you mostly under, but... Um, no, I'm pretty sure they, I, I was instructed that they ask you directly. They did Which not ask me directly, or if they did, my mind was elsewhere. Okay. Yeah. I did have I, other, like, con- I had other concerns. Told your story, time. and they were like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." Like they didn't even ask her, <laughs> and they're like, "What?" <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. So, I don't know, Rain. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know either. Just based on other people's stories from other surgeons, mine doesn't sound typical. Yeah. So, I don't know. Well, hopefully, but, mine is typical. <laughs> But yeah, like uh, when I was sort of coming into, I think the first thing I said was, uh, I think I asked how much, uh, what if there's any, if I was on any painkillers. Like, yeah, morphine. <laughs> and I'm like, how, and then I ask how much, and I forget what the answer was. He told me, and I'm like, can I get like half of that? <laughs> yeah. And then a few hours later, I'm like, yeah, I don't need more. I don't need any painkillers. Yeah. And I went for like the next day and a half, day day and a half or two days, something like that. Um, with no painkillers because for some reason I'm like I have a point to prove here that I don't need painkillers I'm good and then like well I kept waking up at like 2 or 3 in the morning and crying in pain and then trying to go back to sleep Yeah. and I eventually would but then I found like what the fuck am I doing to myself what am I trying to prove I have access to free drugs why am I not using them free opiates well, it wasn't opiates at first. It was well, it was something else at first. Um, yeah. And that stuff, they I did take it once, and I was feeling sick from it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I'm wasn't worried about having, that. Too. I wasn't actually vomiting from it, but I certainly wasn't yeah. feeling great. And like, well, we can give mm-hmm. you an anti nausea thing. I'm like, okay. And then after that, I'm like, no more. That actually might did have been make... partly why, but in the very beginning, it was. Certainly they make you nauseous. Of... Hmm? They made you nauseous. That particular painkiller did. Did they make you feel fuzzy? Like, like, kind of like. Lots of energy, but really tired? No. Okay. Um, That's, good. That's what I'm worried about. That's how but, my mom reacts to some painkillers. But um, then yeah. when they finally could give oxys, uh, I'd, I'd take, I forget, I think I was two at the time. Yeah, I think it was two at first. I went down to one and then went back to two. Um, yeah. But yeah, I took whatever they gave me. And then I was like updating someone and sending a text on uh, how I was doing. I think it was Nick I was updating. Mm-hmm. And I'd like be in the middle of sending a message. My thumb would be over uh, send. And then like an hour later, I would push it. And like I lost the time. I'm like, 
I don't know. I was, I was just kind of. I, I woke up, but didn't know I was waking up. Mm-hmm. And I was confused, so time was just kind of jumping. Yeah, it was weird. And that, that sounds. Just, weird. It just kept happening. It okay. kind of is, except then, when, <laughs> and except then when you kind of blink, and then you have like three or four messages of "Where are you?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You doing okay? Yeah. What's up? Oh, I'm worried about it. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> now I should, now I feel bad. Well, it's not. It's no different. You know, these are all. This is all information I already had. <laughs> I've been worried about it. It's gonna go okay, though. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, there's lots of things that the, that my body in particular can screw up. Worried about my psoriasis. I'm pretty sure I don't have psoriasis on my balls anymore. So. Yay. That's good. And uh, not being able to lay on Marion's chest means my face will probably heal. So that would be great because I have psoriasis around my mouth too. That will help. Sucks. <sighs> Fortunately, it's just because of stress, and there's virtually no stress in my life, so I'm sure it'll go away. And whenever things are healing, I get psoriasis outbreaks too. So, I'm gonna really have to make sure I don't scratch. <laughs> yeah, no. Hopefully, you'll be too drugged out to notice. That would be good. Yeah, that would be good. And yeah, but, like but don't don't be me and be like I can do it without drugs. Oh God, yeah. There's no. <laughs> I wouldn't even. <laughs> I wouldn't even pretend to to. I wouldn't even inhale. To prepare that thought, it's not, it would never it'd be like. Do you want? Yes. Is this like, all you? You don't can even know what me? I was going to ask. Like, can you give me a strategic amount of drugs so that I just wake up in like two weeks? Because if we can do that, then I am I am down for that. Let's do. Well, can we make it longer than that? Can we make it three months? <laughs> <laughs> Could just make it the year, and you'll be totally healed. That would be even better. Deal. Well, make it a year and a bit so that I wake up in. In spring, because fuck, fuck fall, and especially winter. God, I'm with you on winter. Fall, on the other hand, fall has Halloween. Ugh, ugh. No. Fuck, I haven't had a good Halloween in ever. <laughs> so Halloween can go fuck itself. Well, this sure. year won't be much different. You'll be healing. Yeah. And I guess I had one. I've had one good Halloween. That's true. It wasn't. It wasn't as good as it could have been. But well, next year is a chance to make it different. Yeah, let's we'll see. That would be nice. For me, depression. I guess I should be so cynical. <clears throat> What's that? I guess I shouldn't be so cynical. Like I haven't actively been trying to make friends, so that's probably why I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> and I'm definitely not good at it. I don't really I'm, know anyone who is. I don't know. People people just seem to be particularly weirded out by me. I guess, or just to be like to just not. I don't know. I don't really know. I I don't know what the problem is. Then you haven't met the right people. That's what I think. But you know, some of the, like I sure man, I sure thought Kimberly was one of the right people. I'm fucking... But didn't she move? Yeah, she didn't even say goodbye. And I'm like... Could have been busy. I'm sure she was very, very busy. But, I mean... I don't know. I mean... Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of harsh, that's all. <laughs> it's just like, you well, know... How long? How, how, much had, how much time have you two spent together? Um... And she had come over a couple of times, and that's pretty much it. But, you know, both times we were like, wow, we are awesome. We have got to do this more often. But, um, some people, I don't know. Some people have a hard time saying goodbye as well. Yeah, she's got a social anxiety. I don't know. I can't help but be, like, really hurt <laughs> by, by what she in particular did. You know, like, at least whatever. She's just some hippie. And and she's an attractive one at that, so she doesn't have time for the likes of someone like me. But I mean, Kimberly, man, come on, she was really cool. I'm upset. 
and there's all and there's the Rochelle girl too, and uh, but yeah, I don't know. And like I've been, I've been thinking about, like I've been like going to talk to people and be like, hey, you know, that you're a person I haven't talked to in a while, and then I'm like, oh right, like I'm especially like this week, I'm like I'm going to surgery like imminently. Now it's really not a good. I don't have time to communicate with other people and talk to them, really. Oh, because you have your own stuff to kind of get ready for. Yeah. And I'm not on any of my medications, so also pretty, probably not a good time. Pretty all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I remember I um, my last day of work was a few days before I was leaving for surgery. It was the Friday, and then I had Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday I left. Or no, it was Sunday I left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I left Sunday. Yeah, I think it was Sunday I left. I don't remember which day. It was one of those two yeah. days. Yeah. But I was also packing my apartment to get ready to move. Yeah. So yeah. that was pretty rough and it's like it's not a lot of time yeah and of course i'm like oh, i don't need help from anyone no no, no, no. it's good yeah. and then i wait till last freaking minute yeah and it's like oh there's a lot more here than i, th I always do that it, it's one thing when i'm living with someone it's usually faster <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh but yeah when it's like my own place I always forget, like, I have everything here to furnish a whole apartment. It's probably going to take some time. Yeah, yeah. All of it is mine. Even if I, like, start a month and a half early. Yeah. Because then I get lazy. I'm like, oh, well, I'll just pack the rest of this closer to the date. Because yeah. I still need these things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I tried to pack ahead of time, too. And I was like, well... I can't. <laughs> what I don't know without... Without the pressing need, I don't know what I need to bring. Uh, if you're packing for surgery, you should have a list. I yeah, I got the list that they sent me. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I can't, like, my brain has just been, like, it, it just cannot... Like, if I had to do any of this myself, I wouldn't have been able to make it. I wouldn't have done any of the things in the time that I had available. There's just no way. My brain is just like, this is way too important. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. It's really the other way around. You're really supposed to, like, like if you could worry a lot about this so that you could get it done effectively, that would be great. But if it's, like, worrying about it so much that it's just like, nope, nope. I think... Can't, can't process that much worry. Yeah, I think if my brain fully latched onto everything, I would just be, like, totally inconsolable probably could you imagine if you worried about this show yeah no kidding well i do actually because <laughs> oh, we were rearranging like we took everything out of our room today mm -hmm. um it's actually pretty much empty like all of like the fucking ridiculous amount of clothes that i have all we put all of them on the couch in the living room oh and you didn't come over on sunday no, I'm sorry. I was in the middle of a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. <clears throat> Work-related things that I was working on that are no longer relevant. Oh, yeah? Work stuff? Producing stuff. Oh, okay. That's cool. It was on a short, and then the short got cancelled. Oh, that thing. Yeah, I was supposed to be doing that, and then I think it was Tuesday I got the message. That it was After I got out of my psych appointment, uh, it was uh, I got a message saying it was cancelled. So I'm like, oh, oh shit. Well, okay then. That's or, no, it was Monday. It was Monday that happened. Because today's fuck. Wednesday. Yeah. Fuck. Well, that sucks. That was really cool. I was excited about that. Yeah, well, I have a bunch of stuff, and plus I'm resuming work on Scars, so. Oh, cool. I have to go, and well, it's being redone as a web series as opposed to TV. Right, right. So I have to go and have to re uh, redo a bunch of the episodes. Yeah. Cool. Or replan out the season. Oh, and I'll be incapacitated. Yeah, well, I'm going to write through the winter and then probably in the spring start looking at maybe making it happen, but no guarantees because I said that last year too. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. That's cool. That's good. I wonder what I'll, I'll get up to. You should write. Well, I, if I can, that would be great. I don't know. You could do a recovery blog. Coherent I'll be. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably use my existing... I'm sure I'll posted my existing blog but just kind of 
throw some updates in there. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing a cracked article. They're they're very slow. <laughs> you should probably work on that. It's actually done, and uh, they just need to run it. Oh, so, okay. Well, yeah, that's not they just fun. they just need to like formally accept it, and then do their editor pass, uh, where when they will completely and radically change everything, <laughs> and make like it your, way funnier. Like your last one. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I did not write very much of the last one. That's usually how that works, though. Yeah. Well, and theirs was fucking hilarious. So, mine was not nowhere near that funny. Nowhere you should near. see the changes I make to the to each episode of Glorious Insights. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? No. Okay. Not really. That would be far too much work. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I figured. I mean, back when I was doing other podcasts, even then, like when I did Walking Cure, it was a pain just to go and listen because I knew there were parts where we said things that we just couldn't, that I just couldn't leave in. Yeah. It's like, no, 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 this is a terrible, this is a terrible joke that was made. <laughs> this, is a, this is horrible. This can't stay in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And even going back and listening to it now, I'm just kind of looking at it going, I, I left that in there? Did I not hear this part? Did I not take that out? That's Did fine. I not get this far into it and just said quit and that said fuck it and put it up? Yeah. That's a possibility. Yeah, that certainly would be the case if it was me, that's for sure. It appears as if someone edited only the first 15 seconds of this video. <laughs> After that, I, it's easy to do when I'm not part of it, but if I'm in it, yeah. Or like I can hear my voice in it in any sort of way. No. Nope. 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 Yeah. Nope. 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 Yeah, it's weird. I mean, I have two. Epi- I have two more episodes of uh, the Walking Cure to edit and put up. Episodes nine and ten. Mm-hmm. And that we, those were recorded last year, and <laughs> I can't do it. Both because yeah. I'm in it and because it's with a friend, with a former friend who I lost. Who yeah. And that, that was kind of painful. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, I keep meaning to, because it's like, well, more content to go up. More new content to go up for Primal Screens Media. Yeah. I really should do that, because that would be great. No. <laughs> and I mean, I have this web series that I'm supposed to be, that I uh, was supposed to cut back in 2008, or no, 2007. And yeah. I did, it was cut as like a movie, and some things were changed, and we never were able to sort of agree on... Um, some things that never got released, but I still have all the footage. And I keep meaning to recut the whole series and put it into like web uh, series format. Um, yeah. And then get, you know, uh, and then release it. But <laughs> that's just laziness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not being able to find time, kind of going, there's other things I need to get done as well. I'm going to do yeah, nothing yeah. today except Spider Solitaire and Bejeweled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're playing the shit out of uh, Factorio. Oh, right, right. right. So, too, before I talk about Factorio, um, we changed the living room around. Oh. Mary is really good at it. <laughs> we moved the couch over to, to like, the little couch mm-hmm. uh, to be facing the kitchen against okay. the back wall, facing into the kitchen. Um, and it's, like, the best fucking spot for it ever. It just fits perfectly. Yeah, it fits really well there, um, and like it doesn't, it doesn't look as weird as it seems like it would. And um, there's way more room, way more room in the living room. And uh, we got the we have the two poangs in there, the IKEA chairs. And um, yeah, it's just it's a ton of space, and it looks awesome. Um, when we had everybody over, everybody appreciated it. Like we were using like the whole house. Instead of just this one tiny little area. Well, that's nice. And like people, people were in the kitchen getting drinks, and people were on the couch <laughs> talking to people in the kitchen. There were people in the living room talking to people in the living room. It was really good. It was really cool. Nice. And it was a good party too. My cu- my my cousin, my stepsister, was pretty was pretty awesome. She was pretty cool, and she's usually pretty annoying. So <laughs> that was that was that was really nice to have a, a, an enjoyable interaction with. Her. Was this one of she's, your drug fueled sex parties? Uh, <laughs> she's a geez. <laughs> uh, you know, no. <laughs> I don't think, I think, yeah, I don't think Marla would attend such an event. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> well, I think we've been talking a little bit about uh, relationships and stuff, and I'm, I'm starting getting 
I'm starting to get the impression that either she is she is a lesbian deep in the closet, which doesn't really make sense because, you know, I'm providing a lot of cover, you know. <laughs> the trans pansexual person in a polyamorous relationship is going to take some heat off you if you come out. But anyways. Because um, it's like, oh, you're, you're oh, it's just yeah. a lesbian? Okay. That's Thank God you're just anymore. a lesbian. Exactly. <laughs> Um, or maybe maybe she is trans, um, but um, but yeah, she might just be she might be asexual. You know, she might just she, she, she you know she said the same kind of things as uh, as you said, and it's like just like not really getting anything out of it. It's just like, eh. Yeah, and you know, there's yeah to your to your point, and perhaps to hers as well. You know, I mean. Rough sex is where it's at. <laughs> if it wasn't for rough sex, it'd be like, I mean, regular sex is great. It's it's not bad, you know. I've nothing. fallen asleep during regular sex. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's happened. Hmm. Um, I've fallen asleep while masturbating. <laughs> I've done that too. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, sometimes I'll catch myself and be like, "Oh, whew, all right, we gotta gotta sit up here a little bit." Well, I, I don't. I just fall. <laughs> well, I, I can't can't yeah. fall asleep with the porn I watch just idling on my computer. Apparently, God forbid my aunt comes over or something. That would make for an interesting conversation. Say, <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I know the porn looks bad, but. <laughs> <laughs> That you never did, happened. I did not say that to him. <laughs> you did just walk in. Uninvited. So. Yeah. Oh, man. God, that's so hilarious. But anyway, so yeah, so the apartment's pretty cool. It's looking, it's starting to look like, it's starting to look like actual people live in it. Instead of um, it being like a, well, a computer den, you know? There's nothing wrong with a computer den. I mean, I don't know if it was, you know, if it's a personality change or what, but I was really sick of having those computers in that living room, I tell you what. Well, especially if it makes more sense for you to do, like, in your room doing stuff on them. Well, uh, ironically, we still both, you, like, Marion will play video games on, on, <laughs> on my desktop, <laughs> connected to her television, or uh, their television, and, um, um, and I'll play video games on my laptop. <laughs> And it occurred to me, a very sexist thing occurred to me the other day, um, which is that I'm officially the girl in the relationship, even as far as gaming is concerned. How so? Well, you know, like, as as someone who used to be the cliche neckbeard, I wouldn't let anybody on my computer. I wouldn't, I wouldn't relegate myself to a, a lower-powered laptop. Uh, I mean, it it doesn't like the batteries. You know, like I'm 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 banging rocks together over here, and it does not bother me in the least. <laughs> it depends on what you're doing too. Yeah, it needs like my only concern is it at this point is it needs to be able to run Factorio. Because like, God, that game is like really fun. For me, my computer is still like I use it for editing for work related things. I need it for work related stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. So, you know, that I like. I'm still kind of picky, but I mean, like, well, and I use my laptop. Some, but I mean, for that kind of. Stuff. Yeah, but or, do you use it to edit HD video? Uh, well, I mean, you know, regardless of of you know, it, I probably could. It, it is an Alienware laptop, oh, um, well, and it does have a video bad. card. Um, but um, but you know, like, I just mean, you know, like. Assuming one has a computer capable of doing, like, just I write, so I don't, I don't need a very powerful laptop. I mean, um, like, and I think Factorio runs without a video card too, uh, so I may not even need that. So I mean, well, so I mean, again, it really depends on what on what you're doing. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. For that, but like, if it was just something like gaming, and someone wanted to play a game that like needed stuff, and I wasn't doing a whole lot, and I could be on my tablet or something. Then, yeah. I mean, I'd be okay with that. That's not a big deal. It's like, well, I have the yeah, game. Yeah. Whatever. Go ahead and play it. I'll be on my tablet doing stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, with the whole like computer and living room thing, though, like I'm personally, I I like that setup. Yeah. Where, I mean, we need a computer in the living room for sure. 
Well, I like the setup just because it means that, like, whoever I'm living with, um, you know, like, you can still, like, hang out and do stuff, but you can be doing your own thing. But yeah. then you're not alone, whereas if, like, you have it in your room or something, like, what happened when we were living together, um, you know, then, like, you just spend all your time there. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I had no reason aside from, like, getting food to go out. Yeah. And it's just like, but I'm doing stuff and whatnot. Yeah, and that's, um, I mean, like, you know, Marion will just be like, well, you, you're, we're not doing it this way anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, but I've been, I like playing video games in bed. That's been great. And they're like, nope, got to play video games on the couch in the living room instead. I'm like, okay. Interesting. Well, it's and then, using the rest of the apartment, so. Yeah. And then, you know, after we do that for a little while, and then uh, just recently when we moved the living room around, Marion's like, you can't play video games on this couch anymore. For one thing, the, the couch was broken. Uh, we bent it. We bent it pretty <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> We've used it a few times. <laughs> yeah. When I measured the actual angle, I seriously got a protractor, and it was like... Oh fuck! Now I can't remember. It was <laughs> the number. It was, it was this far off being straight. Still not straight. So, so I can't sit in that chair <laughs> anymore. <laughs> That's not going to work. So now, so then she was. They were like, "Okay, well, you got to sit in the other on the other couch." And I, I was like, "No!" And then it happened. Like I, don't, it's, I intensely resist change for like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Yeah. So, well, and the, you know, it's, and uh, rarely Marion will get genuinely frustrated, and and I'm like, whoa, you know, hey, like I just, I really just need to be upset about this for like 15 seconds here, and then be like, okay, and we're doing it anyways, because I don't really care. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my body. You know, like I don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I I've never known what to do with myself, like, pretty much at all times. Fair enough. But on that <clears throat> note, we do have to wrap up. Okay. So, uh, if you have any comments, complaints, uh, suggestions, hate mail, love notes, all that great stuff, especially regarding the incest stuff, because I'm sure <laughs> that will come up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't want to hear from strangers about or, incest. You know, That's not interesting at all. <laughs> or you know, if you want to invite to to one of to, to one of uh, the uh, incestual uh, drug you know what's really sex funny. Parties. I was when I was doing a cam show once. Mm -hmm. um, someone with m one of my cousin's names showed up in in the the channel and wanted very badly to PM me. And uh, yeah, that was funny. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, feel Anyways. free to send all that to uh, uh, us on Twitter. Me at at Ray Nessery. Me at um, Red Laser with the three. I was gonna come up with a fake one. There you go. Well, it's underneath you. So. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. At Rufflecopter McChicken Face. <laughs> sure. At the real Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> or if Twitter's not your thing, that uh, at Darby Dragons at PrimalScreenMedia.ca. Oh, my hair is purple. That was the other thing. And mine's re-dyed, so it's like a purplish pink. Oh, nice. Cool. You have got to get this dye. Uh, oh, the, the, Ar um, the Arctic Fox? Arctic Fox. It yeah, I've fucking... heard good things about it. I've also heard that it wears out quickly. I don't. I don't think so. Certainly but, not as fast as the other stuff. Which we call it. But I'm doing. Um, I'm. Uh, this was the last time I'm sticking with this color, and I'm doing something else next time. So in like a month or two. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. Yeah. So. You should definitely whatever you do. This dye is definitely where it's at. Like when I wash my hair, yeah. um, like when my hair gets wet, no dye will come out. It's only when I like put soap in it that the dye comes out. Well, that's what it's that's what's supposed to happen. Even when I it. like that didn't happen before with the other stuff, whatever the fuck that's called, the stuff we were using. Splat. 
Yeah, the splat stuff. Yeah, no, like spl splat. It starts to it, the change. The water changes color. Yeah, like I could I could lick my fingers and take some of the dye off. You know. Yeah, but it takes but a like, while for it. Well, for mine at least, it takes a while for that color to completely go away. Yeah, so it I mean, fell out of my hair super fast. Like yeah, my hair was blonde like, here. I mean, it's like two, three months. About two months. Yeah. About a month and a half before it starts to before it gets noticeably faded. <laughs> um, about two, three months before you can start to see blonde. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I guess I maybe my hair just. Well, actually, I know my hair doesn't take up the dye very well because the spot that I I didn't like where I wasn't bleached, it it didn't do the thing. So maybe anyway. I'll do something about that after surgery. Just put a little bit of bleach right here. But okay, it's time to go. Yeah, we are running over. Um, but yeah, so next week there may or may not be a glorious insights episode. It really depends. Um, I may have found someone to replace you temporarily. Meow. Well, you're not going to be in any condition to, you know, do this. Meow. Although that would be interesting, though. It's like Meow. using the wireless. For the hospital. No, that won't work. <laughs> it's not. It can't be glorious insights if it's not. If it's not us, we are glorious insights. We it has are. to be. Um, there has to be a. Uh, maybe it'll be like um, slightly above average insi insights. So I'm slightly above average, am I? Well, it's the other person who's bringing you down. <laughs> I don't know who it is, so I am it, casting it, a spirit. It, it's my best friend, so. Oh, okay. All right. I guess that means that's not me, then. Well, one of my best friends. One, <laughs> okay. of, one of the people closest to me. <laughs> okay. Group who is it? Category. Nick. Oh, Potentially. okay. Potentially. Cool. All right. Yeah, that's right. You told me about that. Well, that's acceptable. <laughs> yeah, so it might be him. I am not a jealous person. <laughs> not at all. I am in full control of my emotions at all times. And with that, have a great night. You too. See you later. See ya. Bye. In, in, see you in like a month or so. <laughs> if I don't see you before then. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.